actually just stepping out, but he'll be back. He is the amazing, amazing man who put the hole in the wall that I showed you all last week. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> Welcome to our Tuesday Lunch Chat, everybody. I'm Sarah. I'm the owner of Not Another Hat, coming to you live from inside the store on this beautifully gray, rainy day. And I'm not going to lie, I'm really happy because there's a slight chance of a little bit of snow in the forecast for next week. And I know that makes a lot of people scream, but it doesn't make this girl scream. It makes her heart, oh, so happy. Plus, I get to wear my sweaters. So, neener, 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 that's the last time that I'll be happy about snow because... I know it's irritating to some people. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hi, Wanda. Hi, Diane. Um, yes, it's great to see all see all of you. Um, it's been such a busy time. I was running around filling orders this morning, and then I kind of spiffied up our new shipping area over in the what I'm calling. Oh, we have a name for it. The uh, the the addition is called. I'm going to swivel this over really quick. That, our addition that I showed you yesterday, we're going to call it the crow's nest. That is a nod to the club and our little mascot, the, the K-A-H crow, because, you know, caw, caw. So, yes, the crow's nest, I've made the shipping area all, like, set up, which just feels so good because ever since we started construction about a month ago, our shipping, if you can even call it that, has been crammed in at the checkout desk area, <laughs> which is just, it's hard. That's just a lot of in one place. So it's so great now I got it all moved over there. It's all set up. It's all tidy. It's all organized. It's going to be so nice to fill orders over there. The counter's nice and tall, so you don't have to like stand at an awkward um, angle and, and uh, break your back to fill orders. So. Yes, I'm going to talk about my shawl in just a second. Um, yeah, Jill, isn't the crow's nest perfect? I've been calling it the Annex, which is the most boring name on the planet. And I knew we had to come up with something that's kind of catchy. Um, and that way when we have our first in-person, not another club event, we can have the event in the crow's nest. <laughs> I love it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sitting here holding this TV because I only made it 10 minutes ago and it is still too hot. And I want to drink it so bad, but I know I'm just going to be in for a world of hurt if I get. Let me just try it really quick. Okay, it's almost drinkable, but it is still pretty freaking hot. I'm just going to set it down. It'll probably be smart to if I just set it down. Um, I'll this cardigan is store bought. Sorry, I saw something fly by <laughs> asking about my cardigan. Store bought cardigan. It's got like a little front detail there. It's comfy. It's cozy. You know, get cat tongue. I know. I wasn't so, it wasn't so bad. All right, let's talk about the shawl that I'm wearing because it's lovely and it's just the perfect time to make a worsted weight shawl, which this happens to be. I am wearing, I'm sure many of you recognize it because it's not new. It's been around forever and it's been popular forever. And I've always wanted to have a shop sample of it. And now that we have our new army of shop sample knitters, we finally got one done. So this is the hipster shawl by Hokey Locatelli and, or Locatei, and um, let me hold it up proper for you here. It is so beautiful. This color is gorgeous. Hold still a little closer there. There's the true color. Um, cute little fringe, and Kara knit this up for us. Um, also known as Cardi Bell, that's right guys. She's not just a great sewer, she's a great knitter as well. <laughs> Obviously she is because she is one of our best customers, but she um, sews all day, she says, and knits all night. That's her, her um, order of operations, if you will. Anyway, it is cozy and warm and it's perfect for fall. Um, it is absolutely great. It takes three skeins of Barocco Lanas, which is what we knit this in, one of my Desert Island yarns, yeah, I know you guys have heard me say this before. Where'd I put it? Okay, hold tight, it's right here. Um, Barocco Lanas, just a beautiful, lovely, straightforward wool from Barocco. It's not a super wash, it's just wool, and it's gorgeous, and it comes in some 70 amazing colors. Um, we have them all on our website. I grabbed three. None of them happen to be the color of our shawl, 
but um, we have all of the, the details about this on our blog post this week. So um, I just grabbed these three because they're pretty. They're lots of beautiful heathers. They're not all heathered, but there are a lot of beautiful heathers. And three skeins, size eight needles. I mean, Kara made this in like a week. She really, really flew through it. Um, so check it out. This would be a really lovely shawl or a really lovely gift because three skeins on size eight needles is very manageable, right? In, in terms of knitted gifts. So it's really beautiful. It's got that um, crisscross kind of stitch there. It makes that big opening. So, yay, we have a hipster shawl sample now. <laughs> um, okay, so the other thing I have today, um, here's my friend, don't fall over, come on. Okay, she's, everyone in the world is taller than me, including my mannequins. That's just embarrassing. Um, let's move her front and central. <laughs> that color, Christy, is, Um, you guys, give me two seconds. I'm going to run out of the video. The Lana's is right there. I'm just going to look. <laughs> That's not it. Oh, hold on. That's it. Okay. Color number on the sample is 95117. I don't have a name. But whatever 95117 is, that's the color. So, um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for letting me run away real quick. Okay, the next thing, come on, come on. The next thing we're going to talk about, oh, I love this sweater so much, um, is Barocco Spree. We have a trunk show that just arrived of Barocco Spree. Yes, I'm, I'm hugging my mannequin. Um, okay, you can step aside now, lady. And I'm going to open it up. I haven't opened it up yet or anything. I'm just going to open it up and show you guys all of the samples right now. This one, I think, is also in the trunk show. This is a sample that we already have in our store. That's why she's on a mannequin. But I love how the sleeve detail is here, the shoulder and sleeve detail. It's kind of like that, um, um, oh, my God. Dolman. Woo! Words are hard. It's my... It's not even Monday. It's just kind of my Monday. I kind of took yesterday off because my um, youngest was off from school. So kind of dolman -y, So it's got that kind of nice slouchy drapey fit that's so flattering on so many people. And it's called Moval, M-O-V-A-L. And this is the 45 that we have here on our, um, on our mannequin. And it takes seven skeins of Barocco Spree. So I'm going to show you some balls of Spree and then we'll look through the truck show. So... I have loved this yarn since it came in. It was actually part of their spring summer release. And um, it in store, it's gotten a lot of attention. Like we've had people get sweater quantities several times for this, but not online. And I think it's hard to know. Um, it's hard to look at this and, and kind of picture how you might want to use it. But it really is a beautiful sweater yarn. And it's a 50 cotton, 50 wool. So it's all season. And I'm going to bring her back for just a second, a little closer. There. I just love that this is very evenly distributed. The color moves around with amazing consistency um, for such a multicolored yarn, right? So it doesn't do weird pooling and weird, um, I don't know what else, what other word besides pooling, but anyway, it just looks like a beautiful watercolor painting, like kind of like a Monet or something all around. And so, yeah, it's a 50 gram ball, so it's 142 yards. And it's up like five stitches to the inch on a US 7. Um, and I love that it is the, that blend, that 50 cotton, 50 wool blend, because boy, it's helpful to wear that blend when you experience periodic warming, periodic internal warming, if you know what I mean. So let's open the trunk show up here. Um, these are the designs. Here's the booklet for Spree that they released. Try to get the, the glare. So we have kind of a poncho we pull over, cardigan, uh, the dolmany one, a little yoke, a twin set, and a shawl. And this does not look like an official bag, but okay. It's like somebody's dry cleaning bag. Oh, the shawl, that's what I opened up first. So this is beautiful, and it's done side to side, so you get that vertical movement of color. 
I really like this. It's kind of a mesh pattern. Try to zoom in and hold still for a sec. Um, and it's got some fringe. So the shawl is called Briolette, B-R-I-O-L-E-T-T-E. -E. And um, if you go to Barocco Spree on our website, we have these pictures in a link to the collection there. And this took five balls of spree. So really beautiful on a US six. Uh, this is really, really pretty. Let me put it on and see. I love the drape of it. It's really, really nice. It's that open stitch pattern. Oh, I wish I could keep these. It was so sad to send that dash trunk show back because I really, really love that mess and the crocheted cowl, which just means I have to make them now. Um, instead of steal them from Broco, but they probably wouldn't continue to do business with me if I kept their trunk show. So <laughs> anyway, this is super comfy to wear. Very, very cozy. Um, so very nice shawl. That's Briolette. And what else did I just open here? Oh, this looks like the yoke pullover. Oh, super cute. Oh, it has a design on the bottom too. Just a little bit of lace work at the bottom that matches the lace work in the yoke. Very cute. Um, this is called Coulette, C-U-L-E-T. I swear they make these words up. The sample I've got here is a 39 and it took seven balls. So I would probably, I mean, I could probably put that on and have it be a little bit close for comfort, but I would make, for me, the next size up, it would be a 43 um, with eight balls. So that's really, really, really doable. That's beautiful. Um, I think this might be the one we have. Oh! It's the one we have in the long sleeve version. So it's got that same fun um, yarn over neck. There, you can see the yarn overs. Neck and shoulder. There we go. Detail that our, um, our lovely girl has here. But she has the short sleeve version on and they've got a little longer sleeve version. Um, so you just basically pick up and put a, a full sleeve on instead of just putting on the ribbing. And the sleeve detail is really nice. It's got that same whoop, little yarn over detail on the sleeve as well. This one is called, oh, <laughs> Mobile Long Sleeve. Ah, imagine that, M-O-V-A-L, <laughs> in the long sleeve version. So same pattern, you just can uh, follow the instructions for the short sleeve or the long sleeve. This is the 45 as well with eight balls. So really cute, I love this color. I'm gonna try this on as soon as we're done with the video. Um, where do I open this guy? Okay, one second. I have to open the little bag. And what is this? Oh, this is the poncho y thingy, my jobber. Oh, this is cute. This is really cute. Um, I'm going to try this on really quick. You guys mind if I do a quick Mr. Rogers? Let's see if I can figure out how to put it on. I mean, it's just a poncho, but is the neck the same? I think the neck is the same. I'm going to disappear. <laughs> oh yeah. Digging this. This is super cute. Love it, love it, love it. It has a little bit of a stitch pattern there. Fashion show, fashion show, fashion show at work. Sorry, I was trying to move the camera just for a second, put my finger right in front of it. Um, very, very cute. Huh, I like this. I would actually be tempted maybe to just do a little seam or some buttons um, along the sides here to close it and just keep it a little bit more, um, a little less breezy. But wow, this is cute. It's so comfortable to wear. This yarn feels amazing. Okay. No, oh, I didn't say what the name of this one was, did I? Ooh, wild hair. Navette, N-A-V-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. I was wearing the medium large there, and you know, I'm like a 41, 42, and that took 11 balls. So that was Navette. And this is cardigan um it's all buttoned up let me just you know so la 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 halloween was fun we had a lot of kids i'm just unbuttoning the sweater so i can put it on um 
and we did have a lot of kids at our neighborhood. Maybe not quite as many as last year where we ran out of candy in 40 minutes, but we also weren't prepared last year. And this year we had like 20 some pounds of candy. So uh, we had a little leftover, but it was fun. It's so fun to see all the kids walk by and their costumes and the little ones that are so cute. And I tell you, little girls, cute little girls, they're devious, man. We were worried about running out of candy. So we'd say, just pick one, just pick one. And the cutest, the cuter the little girl, and we're talking like four-year-olds, the bigger the smile, and they would smile right at you. And then they would grab like four candy. <laughs> and then you just, you're powerless to stop them because I don't know, they're smiling and they're cute. They know it too, right? Um, okay, this is the cardigan. This is very cute. Also, this is called, oh my Lord. This is called Zoicite, Z-O-I-S-I-T-E. <laughs> I'm wearing a 41, so I'm wearing like zero E's basically for me. And this takes nine balls. Um, this goes all the way up to a 73. Barocco always goes up. Just always assume there's a size for everybody with a Barocco pattern. They're always going to be really good about that. If I were to button it, just so you can kind of see what zero ease looks like, you can just see it just barely. My hips are not a, four, a 41, so. Um, but it's it's great. It's beautiful, and it feels really nice, and it's got that fun same um, sleeve detail that the, um, the Dolman raglans have. Looks like it's done from cuff to cuff. That's really cool. So the color moves sideways on this one, um, which is really nice. So that's fun. Okay, we just have a couple more. <laughs> Thanks for hanging in. This must be the twin set. Not gonna try that one on. Um, oh, that's a cute little tank top. Oh, yes, that's right. This is the reversible one where you could wear it with the square front neckline like this, or you could wear it with the V. Um, so I love that actually. That's a really cute design. I bet this would be really cute on. I'm not going to try it on because that would be not feasible, but um, to do on camera. Oh, there is two more. Sorry. Um, and here is the matching cardigan that you wear with. Oh, it's done in reverse stockinette. Cute. This yarn looks really good in reverse stockinette. Holy smokes. This is a really great collection, I know. Um, and we got it really late because the calendar had really filled up when I you know, when I tried to book it, and they were said they said so sorry, we don't have any openings until um, late October, November, so you probably don't want it. And I was like, that's fine, it's a half wool, we'll take it, and I'm so glad because it's still a totally appropriate yarn, especially with global warming. Um, oh, so the last one is just our same sample, so the short sleeve um, move all. All right, well, that was the Barocco Spree trunk show. We've got plenty of Spree in stock. Um, and if you want any, go check it out in our uh, listing on our website because we have links. We have little pictures of the designs, and then we have a link to the designs um, on Ravelry so you can actually buy the patterns as well. And that's it for now. Um, I was going to show you something I just finished that it was like going to be a sneak peek and I left it home. I'm so sorry. I'll have to do that next week. Um, all right. All right, everybody. I hope you have a lovely week. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you back here next Tuesday. Same time, same place. Adios.